and hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials of GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Media Encoder and how to fix one of the most common problems that you can encounter. It's pretty annoying, and it's basically if you try to open the program and it doesn't open, if you get this uh, short loading symbol next to your mouse, I just tried to run as administrator and it didn't work. Or if it does open for you, if the program does open, but it's not loading into Media Encoder. If you just see the splash screen and it's loading taking forever, if nothing's happening, if you can never get into Media Encoder, here is the solution for that problem. Now what you'll need to do is head to your C drive and head to the program uh, 86 section. So programs 86, program files 86, then head to common files then head to Adobe, then head down to SL Cache. Now, several tutorials will tell you that you have to edit this file somehow and write something in it and recreate a shortcut and create a bat file and all these other things. Well, I'm here telling you it's a lot easier to fix this problem. This is the file that right now is causing the problem, the X19 file. It should be the very bottom of the list. Now, there are some contents in this file, but what we're going to do is we're going to right-click this file. We're going to click Open With, and you want to make sure that you have Notepad selected. If you don't see Notepad on the list, select More Apps here. Scroll down and find Notepad, and go and select Notepad, press OK. Now, in this file, there's a bunch of text. All you're going to do is just highlight everything, and then you're going to press Backspace and delete it. Keep the file completely empty. Head up to File head to save and then just close it. So you should have that file saved with nothing on it. Then you're going to right click that file again, the X19 file, hit properties, and then make sure you select read only. We're basically turning this file into a read only file. Once you have that check marked here, go ahead and press apply again. And the last thing you want to do is head to security, then head to edit. And make sure you check mark all the deny boxes here. Hit apply, click yes, and press OK. Then press OK again, and that's it. Once you have that done, we can go back over to the uh, media encoder file. If you want to find the media encoder file shortcut, it's going to be in program files in Adobe, in Adobe Media Encoder CC and there's your shortcut file. You can run it or run as administrator. I would recommend running as administrator. If you want to make a program run as administrator by default, right click the shortcut, click properties, then in the properties dialog box, head over to compatibility and check mark run this program as an administrator. Once, once you tick that box, hit apply, press OK, and this program will now always run it as administrator. I find that option to be best for uh, most programs because you won't run into any weird problems. Then when we open the program, as you can see, everything is loading properly and we don't get that hanging screen anymore. We don't get that splash screen that's forever loading and we can't get into Media Encoder. And as, now that we're running as administrator always, it also gets into the program a lot faster. I have a pretty bad computer and I'm able to get in this program really fast because we've added run as administrator. So that's how you fix the problem with the X19 file. And if you have problems getting into Media Encoder, if it doesn't open at all, if it's not loading up, if you're stuck on the splash screen, this is how to fix it. Hopefully you found the tutorial informative and helpful. If you did find it helpful, leave a like down below. If you have any questions or comments, you run into any other problems, leave a comment down below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other tutorials on the channel. If you're interested in Premiere Pro, Audition, editing tutorials, software, solution guides of all kinds of cool techie things on our channel. So if you want to check that out, go and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. And if you'd like to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Anything as low as that is very helpful and very much appreciated. Click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. It'll bring you to the page. And if you want to check out my vlogging channel, the gaming channel, music channel, or the advice channel, links in the description as well as on the end screen. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. Hopefully you guys are having a good evening. This is GS Mouse Smart. And I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.